I'm Reed Paik, and I'm an alternative hip hop artist. I go by Recap, R E K A P, which is Paik or Backwards, which is my last name and my first initial. And how I figured that out was in eighth grade when I first started. Um, I um, had my Scantron for my uh, EOG, and it said Paik Reed. And I read it backwards, said Dear Recap, and just took away the, you know, Dear, <laughs> and it ended up being Recap. Well, I've always liked music. My mom can tell you I would, you know, follow her around the house, banging on pots and pans. Um, when I would listen to music as a kid, I would sit by the boom box when I was like two, three, and before I could even speak, I would, you know, sing songs or like hum melodies. But it wasn't until I was around 14 when I was introduced to Eminem and Kanye West and um, B.O.B. I was really inspired by the way they put words together um, in interesting ways and the fact that lyrics were the um, you know, the main focal point of the music was really interesting. You know, they could tell stories in a really small amount of time. Um, the Marshall Mathers LP, the first one, his delivery and his flow and how honest and raw he was on that whole entire album really inspired me. And it sounds kind of corny, but Same Love by Macklemore, um, I was inspired by that song as uh, he was using music to uh, call attention to an issue and really get people you know, to be more involved with that issue. I have life-threatening food allergies to peanuts, eggs, dairy, nuts, mushroom, and sesame. I've had it my whole life, have anaphylaxis, and I saw, wow, he's using music to advocate for people, and I could do the same thing to advocate for people with food allergies. So I made a song that is about my life with allergies. You know, the first verse is about me having an allergic reaction, the second one is about the negative aspects, and the third one is about the positive aspects. Just running down my spine as it was covered in frost I wake in a cold sweat of words, I'm at a loss My throat starts caving in again An indescribable pain as more adrenaline starts flowing once again inside my veins A shot of energy hits me fast, my body shaking, then I crash Hoping that I'll wake up and that this day won't be my last A simple mistake, causing trauma that's a match What it's like to be me and then when I made that song, I saw uh, the pe people's reactions to it. You know, people saying, oh wow, you took the words right out of my mouth. Um, and, you know, really inspired people. I thought, wow, you know, I could be a voice um, for myself. Like I can have a voice for myself and I can be a voice for others too. It, it made me feel like, you know, I could really advocate for an issue that, you know, I feel deeply about and I can do that for a lot of things. And I can really express myself through an art form. And that's when I was like, I want to do something in this field at least, you know. And I just started to have a passion for it. And when I saw um, people like Watsky and Childish Gambino and you know Lil Dicky, uh, people who are similar to me with similar upbringings, similar experiences, uh, similar point of views, I was like, wow, you know, I could actually do this. Like it's actually possible. You know, a lot of the rap on the radio are things that I can't make music about because I just don't have that experience. But you know, Drake, Kanye, uh, Childish Gambino, Watsky, 21 Pilots, people like that really popularized this kind of you know, subgenre of like not cool rap. What makes me respect an artist the most is interacting with fans. Uh, artists that talk to people on Twitter or Facebook or email or have meet and greets at their concerts, I feel like is really important. It makes me want to support artists more when they're personable, but really it's to be the most original, most consistent, is what makes artists, you know, rise to the top. And it's also, but that's very, also very difficult. It's easier said than done. Right now, uh, I shot my first um, ever music video last weekend, and I'm putting that out soon. Um, and it's for a song called Every Day. So what I did was I made a beat with every single rap cliche right now. So rattling hi-hats, booming bass, staccato piano, um, loud and obnoxious synth, overly excited guys yelling <laughs> in the background, um, you know, you know, epic strings in the chorus, you know, deep voice echoing back, you know, uh, chanting, fast rapping, you know, all every of that. Second, every minute, every hour of the day, I'm ruminating rhymes till I overload my brain. I put the pin in the pad and pop a novel like Jimmy Wayne. Every second, every minute, every hour of the day. Um, and what's funny, is um, no one knows it's a satire. For my music, I'm not sure what's coming up next for it. 
Um, I'm kind of in a transitional period right now, trying to figure out what I want to do. My goal is I put out an album last year and it just, I did it in my mom's basement, you know, so it's not the best quality. And my dream is to be able to reproduce it, make it a more cohesive, strong project, and put what I've learned this year and written this year into it as well, and make, you know, my, you know, first, you know, body of work. Because I have, you know, a lot of, you know, CDs laying around that are just, you know, compilation of stuff I've done, you know, on the cheap. But I would like to actually make like a full-fledged album where I can really demonstrate and execute my ideas. That's my, my dream, my goal. That's what I'm working on. Every day, 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 every day. I put the pen in the pad and pop a novel like Hemingway. Every second, every minute, every hour of the day. Um, let me think for a second. Okay. I'm hungry, I'm ravenous, stimulated hypothalamus. All these other rappers are derivative like calculus. I enjoy a challenge like a passionate masochist. I'm smack an antagonist with a Batman extravagance. Yo, I hear the 808's ticking. It's like a shot of adrenaline, a phenomenal feeling. For me, there's nothing more genuine. All these villains, I'm hitting them. Like a militant minimum. If you want me to repeat that, the recap is the synonym. The rappers I battle got bars basic, kind of like alkaline. It's asinine to fight with a mastermind who's in his prime. I run against the clock just so I can pass the time. If money talks, then I'll be flirting with the dime. Yo. No for bars about allergies and unrequited love. Don't know me? Your girlfriend does. <laughs> wow.